Hello, book finders. It's Thursday. So as you probably already know, this is the last week of this project, so I'm not going to talk too much about the book that I read this week, but I did read Fahrenheit 451 because I thought it would be a nice closure to this project because it's it's all about books. It's about the importance of books and it makes you you feel that importance and there's so many other things in the story as well and I, I really don't want to get into all that and I don't really think I can because I just finished it. I sort of powered through it um, because it was a crazy busy week and my car broke down today and it was the nonsense all over um, but it was it was a great end to this thing that we set out to do. Um, because it just, at this moment in time, in at the end of this project, after having done this for a year, it, it was a nice sort of reminder of why, of why this project matters, of why stories are so important, of why we need books so much. Um, so I, I would recommend it. I, that seems so trite to say in this video, but I, I'm having nostalgia from reading it and from watching all your guys' videos, and it's like, yesterday I was so relieved that the project was ending today because it feels like it's gone on forever and I'm ready for that break, but now, today, I don't want it to end. So I feel like we need a word for that. We need a word for something that you want to end and that you want to last forever because that's the feeling that I'm having right now. So let's get right into my top five book recommendations uh, from the year, from all the books we read in this project. Number five is Beautiful Creatures and I, I wouldn't say that this is even a book that I would ever go back and reread. I enjoyed it so much the first time. Um, mostly I'm recommending it because I never saw it coming. Um, when I when I started reading the book, I could never predict what happens next. And usually when I read, I can tell where the story is going from fairly early on. And with this book, I never could. And that's so rare. Number four, and I feel like this should be higher on the list, but I couldn't bring myself to put it over the other three that I have. Um, but number four is The Princess Bride. And it's just... It was so lovely to read. It was the first time I'd read the actual book. Um, I loved the movie for so long and loved the characters, and I had so much kind of nostalgia around it. Um, but then the book was so excellent and clever in all of the ways that I love, and it's funny, and it's heartfelt, and it makes fun of itself and takes itself seriously, and it's complex, but it's also this really sort of overdone story, and that's the whole point of it. It's just so marvelous. And I think that everybody should read it. Number three is Sherlock Holmes. And I know I've read a few of the Sherlock Holmes books over the course of the series, and I'm not going to pick out just one. Um, this project gave me an excuse to read the Sherlock Holmes books, and it was something I'd been putting off for a little while. And I'm so glad that it did, because I have such a love for these stories now. Um, I, I love the characters. I love... Holmes and I love Watson and and I love their dynamic and the way these stories were told and and the way they fit into our sort of media history and, and I, I love all of the recreations I've seen probably every Sherlock Holmes movie ever made since then and the BBC new show Sherlock and I just have so much love for these now and it was largely due to this project that I that I got into it and didn't continue to brush it off as I had for so long before so I'm very thankful to this project for that. Number two and I'm sure this will not shock anyone is the Hunger Games series. Um, I feel like the first book is the best of the three but I don't think you can really separate them from each other either. Um, it's such it's such a good story. It's so compelling and it's so realistic and you can believe it and you can believe the characters and you can believe that this is a future that could happen and it makes you think about things and and, and question yourself and, and it makes you feel things and, and think things and it's just so complex and interesting and it's a young adult novel. I just think this one is so head and shoulders above all of the rest. And then my number one book for this year that I read was 
a separate piece. A, uh, a separate piece. It's marvelous. It made me feel things, you know? And that doesn't happen very often when I'm reading. Even the Hunger Games didn't make me feel things. Like, this made me feel things. And I could just understand it. I could see all the sides of it. And for me, having read it in high school and not taking much out of it, um, it was just another book that I read for class. And then coming back to it now, so many years later, and, and getting so much out of it, it's sort of like I feel the string that connects all the years of my life. And, and I see how much I have personally changed over the years that now this is so significant for me when it wasn't when I read it when I was 14 or 15 or or whatever um and that then it just makes me feel the depth of the years makes me feel the ways that I am different than I used to be and it's it's books don't usually do that to me nothing usually do, does that to me so it was a, a very unique experience that um that I felt the story and I felt the characters, but it made me feel my life, too, in its own way. I don't know if I'm explaining this in a way that doesn't make me sound like a crazy person, but it was just so remarkable. It was so remarkable and it was such a different experience reading it the second time through so many years later, and I cannot possibly give a higher recommendation to any book. I think that you should definitely read this. If you've read it before, read it again. Um, and, and I just love it. It's so wonderful and beautiful and heartbreaking and poignant. And I just, just please read it. Just read a separate piece for me. Now, I'm not very good with goodbyes or any sort of um, heartfelt speeches. Um, and, and I, I loved watching your guys'. It made me get all gooey and emotional. Um, I do. I love having worked on this project with you guys. Um, there were times where I didn't think we were going to make it through. And then we did. And I can't believe that we're already here at the end of the year. And I've made such good friends. And it was so great, actually, meeting Julia at LeakyCon. And I, I hope... <laughs> To meet more of you in the future, um, but I'm so happy that I, I participated in this project. Um, I think that it pushed me to do things that I wouldn't have otherwise done, and I took so much out of it. Having these discussions with all of you, um, hearing such different points of view than I have myself, or that come from the people sort of um, around me in these various atmospheres. Um, I felt, I feel like you've helped me think about things in different ways, even if I don't necessarily agree with you all the time, and Lord knows that's happened plenty of times. But more importantly, I think, is that we got some really great friendships out of all of this. Um, I mean, I, I talk to a, some of you pretty much every day. Um, and, and I know that we're not going to lose that when this project is over, but it's, it'll be different. We won't have this thing that, that forces us to stick together, but I'm just glad that we've had this experience and, and that we did do this project and that I got to meet all of you and, and hear so much about all of you and your different thoughts and ideas that, and that you shared them and brought these things to the table. You didn't just you know, read your book and go away. Uh, we, we connected and, and we built this this family. And even now, like, the views don't matter, the comments don't matter, how many subscribers we have don't matter. I mean, we love all of those things, but, and we, we love all of our subscribers and commenters completely, but it was about, for me anyway, it was about the project. It was about doing something for you guys. It was an act of service in a way, like a gift. It was a gift, and and you gave me gifts every week in return, and I am so thankful for those gifts that you gave me. So I guess it's time for me to say, Julia, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>